Hello, this is Shane Russell with Suited Marketing, and today I'm going to be talking about the MailChimp system and how to become proficient in creating a campaign, uh, setting up a list, sending out an email, and even uh, creating a, a email that you can set out, send out to a uh, clientele. Uh, base or even new customers or potential customers. So first off, obviously, you'll have to go to MailChimp.com, which can be uh, is M-A-I-L-C-H-I-M-P.com. And when you get to the website, this is what you're going to see as of today, October 31st, Halloween, yay. Um, and you want to go to the login or sign up, obviously, if you haven't already, but uh, this is already a current customer so I'm gonna to go to login uh, type in username and password go ahead and log in if you want to stay logged in you can do that as well alright so here on the dashboard it may look a little different depending on uh, how much you've done already to this point but here on the left you can see the username you can uh, change account settings and the reason why I'm gonna quickly talk about this is because if you would like to Add this to uh, social media such as Facebook or Twitter. You'll have to go to the account settings section and you would want to go to extras and integrations. I'm not going to talk about every little detail of this, but I will talk about the, um, I guess, most important aspects. So we have Facebook, Twitter, Google Analytics, which could be very important. Eventbrite is a, doing events. It's amazing what uh, MailChimp has done and the best thing about MailChimp is that it's free. So it also integrates with Salesforce, uh, it's, these are eBay, these are all uh, very common ones, Etsy which is a um, like a what is it called like a fragrance or, or health and wellness type of product I'm not exactly 100% sure but PayPal so anyway as you can see uh, it does integrate with a lot so as of right now we have it integrated with Facebook now you can edit your profile billing you can upgrade to a pro account which I'll touch on here in a few minutes but let's start with the campaigns campaigns are previously sent or upcoming uh, campaign lists or a series of emails that are being sent out to that specific list and if you have the free accounts you will have to be doing this more on a manual basis so um, it uh, let me just kind of explain what this is. You can create separate folders to categorize and organize filters. So you can, uh, if you have a lot of campaigns that you've already sent out, you can do that. Uh, compare all campaigns. So if I click compare, it's going to download a, a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet to be able to compare the stats of like click rate, open rate, subscriber, so on and so forth. Uh, create a new campaign. Now one thing I do want to touch on, uh, you have your templates there that you've already created as well, but one thing I want to touch on is if you want to resend the same campaign that you've already sent out previously, it's very easy. All you do is find, let's just say this is the very first campaign that was sent out. When it was sent out right here below, uh, I'll just go ahead and zoom in. I don't know if you should be able to see it all right, but uh, October 30th, 2013 at 6:14 p.m. Now you can view the report, which will show uh, how many people have opened it, the 24-hour performance, which links were clicked on, uh, who it was sent to, where it was sent to, which is awesome. So it's very granular in that respect. But this is what I want to show you. If you click on this little arrow, you can replicate, which essentially means to duplicate that email list. So once you've sent it out to your list, if you want to resend it to, let's say, a brand new list, or uh, for whatever reason you want to redo that exact same series of emails, which in this case is our newsletter, uh, you would hit the replicate button. So I'll show you that quickly. So you can choose send to the entire list, send to a saved segment. So let's just say hypothetically, you've already sent it to uh, A through M, but you have not yet sent it to N through Z. That's where you would uh, send it to a saved segment that you've already predetermined. So you obviously have no saved segments. You can create a new one or send to a new segment. 
so you can create um, subscribers match so uh, any of the following or all of the following date added what this is the reason why this is really important is let's just say you've already sent this out to your pre-existing list but since then you have created a new list added more people to your list so on and so forth you can add them here and add different conditions uh, to be able to do that so that's a really cool um, aspect and obviously as of right now it says zero recipients in this new segment you can refresh that by clicking that button but let's just say send to the entire list just for uh, this tutorials purpose here on the bottom uh, these are the steps that we're going to be going through you can skip forward if you'd like but to go through you just hit next so recipients you will set it up the design plain text which means for those people who do not want to see the fancy HTML can also get it in a plain text format. They have the option and in this case I'm going to use Facebook as the comparative uh, piece to this. So let me go to my Facebook page real fast. For this example I am using um, one click cleaners to illustrate how this works. The cool thing about MailChimp is that you can even create these little tabs. Uh, I have it set up as the email sign up. So what you would do to set that up is you would, if you don't already know, just as a side note, when you're in your Facebook page, you go up here and start typing, just type in MailChimp. See that? So what you want to make sure you get the right one, which is the highest uh, user one. But or you can actually go to, well actually you want the app, I apologize, you want the app. So you would click on that. But anyway, so let's go to email, sign up. I won't show you all the details for today, but I've already created this predetermined form for somebody on Facebook uh, visiting the fan page to be able to sign up for this email list. And they can choose whether they want HTML or text and subscribe. So some people don't like receiving HTML because uh, of possibilities of uh, viruses, I guess, in, in the email, but um, you know, you definitely want to give them the opportunity because the HTML obviously looks a lot better. So click on next. So we have uh, name your campaign. Each one will have its own separate unique ID so you can go back and, and replicate that later from uh, who this is from the subject from email uh, you can personalize the to field so what I recommend just leave it as the default as being their first that's what this means is their first name so uh, you can customize it obviously which um, you know there's so many little things about this system that I won't go into all the details but you have your tracking um, just you can just leave it as uh, the default if you've linked Google Analytics you can even analyze the links that they click on through Google Analytics so that's another advanced feature social media right now it's set up to be able to um, go directly to Facebook so when this email system or, or email campaign goes out it's automatically gonna post to Facebook which is awesome uh, you can customize a message right here so just right now I'm leaving this as the default subject line of the email you can even connect it to Twitter you have even more options so you wanna definitely make sure that if you have a video it's set to auto convert the video the reason why this is important is because most emails cannot have uh, email embedded into the actual email so what this will do is actually convert it to an image so when they click on it it'll go to the link where that email or the video I'm sorry is stored so let me actually show you what that looks like quickly let me find it in my email here okay so this is what this email uh, looks like actually I have to show the pictures and this is you know what let me do this I apologize let me go to I think it's this one here there we go so this is what the email actually looks like uh, let me zoom this in one click cleaners newsletter and then you have uh, the body of the email uh, a lot of this is already pre-filled out and then obviously the YouTube video so this isn't an actual video this is just a link that the system automatically created the picture to make it look like a video so if I click on it 
it's going to open up the YouTube video automatically, which is a pretty cool feature to be able to do that automatically. But let me zoom this out here and go back. So now you have, uh, let's go on to the next screen. Now you have uh, the template. So this is the one I've already created since I'm replicating. Um, you have your newsletter, the body, what it's, this is basically what it's going to look like. Again, you know, once you've chosen a template, um, it, this is the predetermined one. So if I were to create a brand new email uh, from scratch, then it would allow me to do that. But since I'd replicated one, which for now, this is the way uh, it's going to be done, then it's already filled out from the last email. Then all you have to do is change the verbiage by clicking on it and you can edit it there. If you are a little bit more advanced, you can even do HTML code, which I did for this particular one to create this little table here. Okay, so uh, again, you might want to just leave all this uh, alone. It's got your contact information, what's being pulled from the profile. Share this email. So let me go back again what this looks like uh, in the email. So it's a share buttons. It's linked to the Facebook account. The contact us is from the profile. Add us to your address book. That's so the person uh, can add you and it won't go to their spam folder. Okay, let's just click on next. Now this is the uh, text version of the email which they will receive if they opt out of the HTML version. So as you can see, it's just a very basic email layout and it just has um, all text and you know even the link they would have to copy and paste it. So it's very basic, but some people decide to do that. Uh, if it's not already pre-filled out, which it usually is, you can even just hit copy text from each HTML email and it automatically pull that in for you. Uh, so now here's the cool part is that you're already to you're all set to send. It checks everything to make sure that you've done it properly, which is really cool. It's a validation aspect. So uh, right now it's only going to be sent to one recipient, which is myself at the moment. You can test your uh, subject line. So if I click on it, discover how the terms in your subject line will impact your open rate. So more stars mean better open rate. So let's just say uh, future of dry cleaning. Let's just check it out. Be a dove and use phrases that contain three words or less. So let's pull that back. Our term, let's see, no results found these terms. Try smaller phrases or more common words. So this should be technically edited. I won't go into too many details on that at the moment, but that's a really cool feature to know uh, what's going to get people in more enticed. So you want something short, sweet, to the point, less than 50 characters, less than three phrases, um, and you don't want to use sales related terms you want to use news related terms and if you are interested I have created a presentation um, which I'll put in the link so let me go here I'll put the link into this tutorial let me just show you email marketing 101 so this actually will teach you all the nuts and bolts of email marketing what when to send them when people uh, open the highest which is actually on the weekends and the evenings so on and so forth subject line examples why you need email marketing so on, best practices etc etc so uh, let's go over here so I can hit schedule or send which again scheduling it is probably the better way to go for the exact reason I just brought that up there's a uh, batch delivery which is paid send with a time warp delivers your campaign at the recipient's local time so that's actually pretty important that's a paid account also so you can schedule it from there uh anywho so let me go uh back to the home page i'm not going to send this right now uh we have lists reports and auto responders so just for this tutorial i'm going to only talk about one more thing which would be the lists this is the list of people that you have as your subscribers. The cool thing about MailChimp is it allows you to add them one by one. However, you have to make sure that this person gave you permission because of the anti-spam laws. You're not allowed to do it, so just don't 
do it and then you can subscribe them so you have to make sure that they gave you permission unless they fill out the form on your Facebook or website uh, already so they already giving you permission obviously so having said that uh, you can go to your stats how many people have subscribed uh, you can uh, let me actually go back to that manage subscribers subscribe or sign up form settings import so you can replicate this list again kind of the same thing as it's essentially duplicate but if you want to create new sign up forms you have uh, multiple integrations and abilities to do that uh, what I've already done for this account is created a Facebook form uh, through that same fashion which will give you the option to link it to a specific campaign so when somebody uh, creates or signs up for that list they will be going to the newsletter one again oh you know what yeah that's that's it um, this is actually the others that I've already uh, tested but these are not sent yet so let me just delete these get rid of them and you have to actually type in the word delete so that you don't mess up okay so I really hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and get more out of it obviously I could keep going it's a long tutorial already so I appreciate your time and hopefully you've learned a lot and I'll make sure to include that Prezi link so you can even learn more on your own if you have any questions make sure to reach out to me but this should get you at least the basics with using the uh, MailChimp and I'm sure there's going to be more questions so just shoot them to me and I appreciate it bye